Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Psychonauts for the PS2 on PS4. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and contribute to my Patreon. Links in the description at the bottom. Alright, last time we managed to scale up to the top of Thorny Towers, uh, got all the side cards, rebrained all the kids, and, well, we managed to rescue Mr. Pokelope and introduce him to everybody. Uh, yeah, turns out that Benny just completely disappeared for some reason, and Dugan was back at the kids' uh, the kids' cabins area, making peace with the, or trying to make peace with the squirrels. Yeah, that was my fault for uh, forgetting that. But yeah, anyways, uh, now uh, th uh, thankfully I didn't use the bacon to tel a teleport back, so I just had crawl a crawler going send me back to the top of the tower. So yeah. Now it's time to go and give, um, uh, time to go and give Mr. Pokido back to, uh, uh, back to Sheikor. <laughs> and, yeah, Lobato just sees me as... Brain tank from my vision. It's there's the brain tank from my vision. It says scale prototype on the side. One quarter actual size. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, good lord. I feel like I know him so well. Having practically lived in his skin earlier today. Oh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting that this whole uh, this, this whole adventure just takes place in the span of a single day. Jeez. Hmm. Judging from its position, I can take this elevator all the way down to the asylum grounds. Oh wow, really? I'm pretty high up. I hope this ride isn't too scary. Well, that definitely could have saved me a lot of time. I mean, yeah, good thing I remember the trick with Crawler and the Bacon, but still. Well, at least it's fast. Ugh. Hey, boy. Why are you trying to burn down the asylum? Uh, yeah, well, let's just go on. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're working on a timer here. Not exactly sure when uh, when the Milkman's going to win over in Boyd's mind, so... Yeah, let's get Mr. Pokey Loke back to Shigor and hope and get ourselves a plan. Hello. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. And Mr. Pokey Lopez, uh -huh. Shaft? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. You always say, Shigor. No, this one is really special. It's a fighter. No, oh, just leave it there. And I'll get to it right after I'm done with this experiment. Okay. Don't worry, baby. Just make sure I get put in that old tank, and Daddy will take care of business. I can't watch! Alright, so. We're going to stick Mr. Pokelope inside of that tank. Don't worry, Mr. Pokelope. I'll guard your body and we'll get your brain back really soon. It's doing important work right now. It's on a mission. Don't even try it! Oh, I'm going to. Don't even try it! Uh, apparently not. Uh, 
apparently nothing. so I can't go inside any of their minds. Well, then again, Sasha and Mia's brains are stuck inside that table there. And, yeah, if Crispin was anything to go by, I'm sure Lobato did something to uh, Shigor uh, to make sure I can't go inside her mind either. There it is. Good work, Shigor. Now all we have to do is get it in the brain tank somehow. Oh, gee, I wonder how we could do that. Oh, yeah, maybe with the, my telekinesis. Now. All right, you got Pokey Loop. All right, buddy. Enjoy your new ride. It's time to make the soup. <laughs> hey, Shredder! Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye, Lobato! <laughs> nice and easy. Rasputin, recranialization of an adult brain without surgery. Yeah. That's a very advanced procedure. How did you know how to do it? Well, I've studied it a little. But oh, well. Shigor here knows more about handling brains than anyone I've ever met. Really? You know I've been thinking about getting a lab assistant. I can think of worse. Shigor, darling, do you know where all of the other children's brains are? Yep. Well, if you can lead us to them. Well, like, just we saved can bring all them, them so. back to their owners immediately. Ahem. Immediately after we break young Miss Zanato here out of her restraints. Of course. Alright. Rescue Sasha and Mila's brains for Lobato and free Lily. Uh, where'd Shigor even go anyway? Turn. So if you have other Alright, just gonna save here. Yeah, no, seriously, this is the point of no return. If you got some things you gotta do before uh Yeah, if you have things you gotta do, you better do them now. Let's see. Yep, six side cards. Alright. Point of return. And yeah, with Lobato gone, guess who's not happy? Finally! If that thing gave me a cowlick, Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's going to take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, Psy Cadet, you mean. Ah, uh, details. The psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door. Oh, just oh, give it up. Yeah. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants. So Ow. trust me. I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Uh, yeah, okay, no, no. Let the grown-ups handle this. That's right, just, uh, how about we play go somewhere else? Oh, people! Let the one shaped like a doll handle this one. Sasha! We get to kill him, too! Well, it's official. 
The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Ah, good for you. <sighs> oh. Oh. This looks bad. You're gonna have to pay for that, you know. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. no. I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Oh, come on! Oh, hey, Fred. Hey, Boyd. Long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly. I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax. The asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, maybe it is time for us all to move on. That's a spirit. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand? Yep. Blow it straight to hell. The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? Sure. Uh, but what cab's gonna come by here anyway? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um. I can hear that. I know. Uh, yeah, I know there's a moment of passion, but that's a little bit too hard for comfort. Oh, crawler? The psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gazoon tight. Huh? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, run, run, start running. Run very, very fast. You guys, but I'm in the mood for pancakes. Who's with me? Oh yeah, I forgot he could do that. Well, say what you will about the boat man, he is efficient. That was my fight. I was ready for that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. You mean like at a... TV? TV? <laughs> Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> or he could be... Or he could be stuck in an unholy leviathan of death and psychic destruction! Hey, how's the weather down there? Ah, finally! 
Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, I've been on a bit of a hot streak. Although I swear, if Oleander starts rambling about nano machines, I'm out of here. Beat the giant cycle blaster death tank. All right, so basically it's like I'm fighting against Bingo Dial. I just gotta go and breach through Oleander's wall of crap in order to get to him. Power and it's just resulting in a big old target. Now, come on, you're, you were supposed to be an elite psychonaut. Uh, you got you gotta be have something better than this. Inside Ollie's brain to finish this. 
Blaster death tank thing. Uh, help coach Oleander. Uh, yeah, protect little Ollie. And yes, this leads to yeah the most infamous level in this game. Hold on. Huh? Agent Crowley, follow that kid. Don't let him get hurt while your brains are connected. Yeah, so it's obvious that kid's, uh, is Coach Oleander's inner child, and... Need your analysis yeah. on a hospital. What? You've been very... Good. Man, these... No, I think I'll stay in this mine for a while longer. Yeah, don't want to see what happens when I use the smelling salts in here when, you know, there's no body to return to. Got it. Got it. Okay, the circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No, no, little buddy, don't go in there. That's a bad place. That's a bad place for bunnies. Yep, the most infamous level in the game, the meat circus. Yep, uh, Raz uh, Raz is in Oleander's mind first together to create this Lovecraftian monstrosity of pleasure and meat. Uh, meat pleasure. Phrasing. <laughs> and yeah, uh, the reason why this place is so hip- Rasputin, your journey has made you much wiser, so why do you sell larger goods like a miser? The items you've met, the scavenge, the webs, the cards, the brains, just to, uh, just to, uh, uh, just to redeem them is all that remains. Yeah, um, Raz, when was the last time you had voices in your head? Well, might as well go and redeem them. I want to turn it for cards. That's two. Yeah, let's see here. All right, just need to find one Good more cop. Help me save the bunny. If he just holds still, I could catch him and hide him from my dad. He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. That's right. Mari's old man was a butcher. 
It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. Oh, please. My memories well. were bad enough. This is just gross. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Oh, <laughs> oh what the devil? You oh, better no. keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Ah! Help! Be gone, demon! Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny! And yeah, this segment here is the reason why this level's so infamous. Yeah, this is a giant escort mission and a very bad one. Now you have enough time to go and collect all the figments. Hey, I'm Wari. I'm coming. Bring on, hell beast. Move your fast! are gonna be a pain. Oh, jeez. 
All right, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. All right, there we go. See Oleander's child, uh, the defining moment of Oleander's childhood. There's him playing around with his bunnies, and in, and in one of the pens, he sees one particular tiny bunny, and he decided to make him the bestest of friends. But of course, to his father, uh, rabbits are nothing more than meat. So to go and teach Ollie a lesson, he going uh, he killed the bunny right in front of him, and it screwed him up forever. No more secrets. So yeah, you can see how Ollie uh, became so messed up. Yeah, okay. he's pretty much still dominated by the uh, memory of his father. The tunnel of love. Oh god, that's a lot of crying. One more piece of emotional baggage of the sort. Hold on. Got it. Uh, I thought there was a trophy for the uh, sword not all the mental complex. Oh god. I guess I only get the trophy once I've sorted out all- uh oh. Once I've, uh, yeah, cashed in all the mental cobweb. the source of all of Oleander's nightmares, and pretty much the reason why he's evil. <sighs> Happy bags! Sort out all the emotional baggage. Alright, uh, let's go and uh, see uh, the primal memories in here. Let's see, primal memories. Let's see, Shigor. Uh, let's see, uh, the Insane Asylum, Lobato's Tower, Mr. Pokelope's Habitat, uh, let's see, the Beach Circus, uh, Tent City, Interior of the Circus, oh yeah. And, of course, there's o Oleander's dad, the Butcher. So, yeah, now that we sorted all that, I'm gonna go and, uh, get all the remaining figments before I go inside that tent and deal with the final boss. So, until next time, this is David on David's Brain, see you when I see ya, Bye bye